For his part, President Biden was on the campaign trail today in the key swing state of Nevada, where he touted a plan to address skyrocketing housing costs and a severe shortage of affordable homes. I spoke earlier today with Tom Perez, a senior advisor to the president, about the administration's latest effort. Tom Perez, welcome back to the News Hour. Pleasure to be with you. Most of the problems with the housing market stem from a shortage of homes. Homeowners are in many cases unable or unwilling to move because they don't want to give up the record low mortgage rate they locked in during the pandemic. So how would President Biden's plan help free up existing homes and incentivize sellers? Sure. No, uh, your point is a fair point. Uh, when you have a 3% interest rate on your loan and you're trying to buy a new house and right now you're a 6%, 6.5% interest rate environment, that's a problem. The, one, of, one part of the president's proposal will help uh, a person who's been in their house, who uh, didn't have kids when they bought the house, but now they have uh, two children, to get a $10,000 tax credit for two years if they go into uh, a bigger home. That'll free up that existing stock. It's $400 a month. And the reason for two years is because we're confident that in two years, the interest rate environment will continue to improve as it has been. And so that's, that's one example of what we're trying to do to help um, homeowners and to help the issue you said about uh, the, the failure to have enough stock. But another thing we have to do is build, build, build. We need more housing stock. And, and the president talked about it in the State of the Union. There's a $20 billion proposal in the president's budget uh, to work with state, local authorities, and other key stakeholders uh, to build more affordable housing. Uh, we need more supply. Already 1.7 million homes being built right now, which is record, but we know it, it, it's a tip of the iceberg of what the need is, and that's why the president's being so aggressive. Well, let me ask you about that, because I spoke sure. to a couple of leaders in the housing industry in preparing to speak with you, and what they told me is what they really need is tax policy that spurs and incentivizes development, and they need regulatory reform. You have housing developers who say they simply cannot afford to navigate a matrix of, of regulations that not only encompass every step of the building process, but the operating process. And then you have these regulations that seem to constantly shift. How is the administration going to address that? Well, the $20 billion innovation fund, the operative word is innovation. It is incentivizing best practices at a local level. I used to serve in uh, local government here uh, uh, in Maryland, where I live. And land use issues are what you're referring to in your, quest in your question. You know, the federal government doesn't control uh, the pace at which a, a home is built. Those are state and usually local issues. And so our innovation fund is designed to help make sure that people and, and, and local governments can move faster while respecting other issues that are of importance in those local government areas. We recognize that time is essential in these um, construction projects. Time is, frankly, money uh, for many, many people. And, mm -hmm. and that's why I think this innovation fund is very, very exciting. I'm sure there are would-be first-time home buyers who are watching this who feel uh, that they've been sort of locked out of the market because those first-time homes, those starter homes, are so unaffordable. What is the specific proposal yeah. that would help them? Sure. The specific proposal is the, both the $10,000 tax credit, so $400 a month for two years. You know, that's the equivalent of knocking a little over a point, I think, off of the interest rate, depending on uh, the size of the loan. Uh, in addition, uh, we are uh, reducing costs. So, for instance, uh, if you need uh, to get uh, title insurance, we're, we're running a pilot program for federally insured uh, loans to eliminate that uh, requirement of title insurance. That knocks $1,000 off the cost. We're, uh, the, the various alphabet soup of regulatory agencies are looking very closely at other junk fees that are all about you know, getting a little more money for uh, lenders and at the expense of would-be home buyers. So these are the things that we're doing. The president continues to call on Congress to pass his proposal for um, housing assistance you know, for down payments, because what we've seen is that a lot of people can afford the mortgage payment, but that $15,000 down payment or the $20,000 down payment 
is what trips them up. So we have worked hard to identify the barriers to entry. And uh, what I would say to uh, would-be homeowners is uh, let's work together because opportunities are out there for you to realize that American dream. Former Labor Secretary Tom Perez, now Senior Advisor to President Biden and Director of the Office of Intergovernmental Affairs. Thanks for your time this evening. Pleasure to be with you.